was so young when you started in Rhythm City. How was your audition? Uh, Did you? Uh, my Rhythm City audition, I don't know how that went, and yes. no one has still told me till this day. Yeah. But the last time I auditioned for something was not long after I gave birth to my daughter. Oh, <laughs> that you went so bad. Me. Forget that. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so how bad. How old is she? Um, she's <laughs> six months oh, now. Sweet. Yeah, but that yeah. was the last. When's the last time you auditioned for something? Oh, um, last time I auditioned for something was. With this one I'm doing now, um, in the yes. You know what? I am terrible with auditions. Yeah, me too. I am so terrible. Most of the time, things that I get are things that I don't audition for. Okay. Yeah, but, but when I'm called for, so for audition, I don't know. Some somehow I just freeze and and and, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. But when they call me for in the I auditioned probably three times. Each time they wanted me to do a, uh, a different emotion for this woman, and each time it will be different. And 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 until I was like, I can't even I'll, believe you still I'll, audition. I'll do whatever. <laughs> you, I mean, you're, uh, what was worse was because I was still with um, um, uh, uh, the show I was doing. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Also for oh. E. Um, I, re I remember. Yeah. Broken, broken vows. vows. Yes. Broken yes. Vows. I was. I was still with broken vows. So and and when I went to audition for Imbeo, I didn't know it was for ETV. And when I went there, I saw all these people from ETV. I'm like, oh my god, are oh, they gonna fire me now? No, why you like these are my people? <laughs> And, and oh, then wow. and then I saw them smiling. I said, "Oh, okay, it's cool. You know, I'll just you know do my thing." <laughs> I, I would think you you're so. I mean, you're a natural now. I wouldn't think you still you still watch yourself on screen. Uh, sometimes, you know, because always when I watch myself, I criticize myself. Mm. I always mm. say, "Oh, you should have, should have, should have, you should have done better than this, or you shouldn't have done this." Also, yeah. like my own worst critic, like it's. Yeah. It's the hardest thing to it's do. Hard, Yesterday I tried yeah. to watch a scene and I'm like, nope, never mind. It's, it's hard. And it's very and hard. And people think mm, 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 mm. the longer you are in the business, you, you no longer get nervous. I get nervous all the time. But my mother once said to me, as soon as you don't get nervous about something, it means you're not taking it as seriously as you used to. I know. To. I'll tell you so. a story. One time I was going to do a storytelling for, for kids, little kids. And I was saying to my husband, oh God, I'm so nervous. And my husband said, are you crazy? You're going to be talking to kids who can tell them anything. I said, well, I'm still nervous. <laughs> but it's a good thing. It's a good I thing. Think. It's a good thing. And uh, what I love most is that I'm growing old now, doing what I love. Yeah, and I've at been doing age 25. At age 70. <laughs> no! Yes, yes. And, <laughs> And I, I still, I'm still enjoying it. You know, it's like I, when I'm off, uh, um, when I have off days, it's like, oh, what am I going to do with myself? I want to go to work. You know, I'm serious. I love my work. I love it. Yeah. I just learned a lot. On yeah. my off day, I'm like, okay, I'm going to eat like a pig today. I'm not going to worry about my stomach being fat. And I'm going to go to the mall. You're going to go shopping. Shopping. Yeah, I know. Wow. That's yeah. really inspiring.